how our power speak a little loud. If there was a pill, I'll be money. I'm coming at the power. That could give you five minutes. It's really so they get it. I'm embedded with the power. A pure power. I'm embedded with the power. Would you take it? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Film Optics Review brought to you by the Drive-In Podcast Network. I'm your host, Christian, and today we're going to be talking about the latest Netflix movie, Project Power. And as always, I'm joined by my good friend and my co-host, Devin. How was your weekend, Ben? It's been a swell weekend. It has been a swell weekend. I got a new chair. It's nice. Yeah, we're bo- we both got new chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Our asses are thinking us right now because oh yeah oh it's it's so nice man I just oh I love it so much mine was like an accidental like I walked into Costco you know picking up some groceries and I was like oh what's this like they had these chairs out that you can sit in I'm like oh it's an office chair I'm like oh it's a lazy boy office chair and I was like holy crap that's insane fate. huh it's fate. Yeah, it's fate. I mean, I, oh, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. It's, ooh, man, this is, like, I now enjoy sitting at my desk more than I did before because, man, my other chair, out with the old and with the new. So, yeah. I, I, moved, I moved my old chair to my dining room desk, and it's just such a <laughs> bachelor pad thing to do. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Desk chair at the dinner table. <laughs> well, now we've got an extra chair laying around. So what am I going to do? I don't want to throw it away. It's got some use. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel the same. My my chair is very, um, I mean, it still works. You know, it's not like broken down or anything, but it was definitely uh, time for an upgrade <laughs> for sure. But um, unfortunately. Speaking of upgrades. Upgrades for oh po- project power or yeah the their little power up upgrades oh man that oh, this movie anyway uh, before we begin um, Ricky and Jacob were supposed to join us today from the Music City Driving podcast but unfortunately uh, they were not able to I believe Jacob is watching Uncut Gems for the fifteenth time and Ricky is too busy watching The Invisible Man so I mean not The Invisible Man The Invisible Woman he loves that movie absolutely loves it. So uh, before we begin today's uh, review, you can listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Red Circle, TuneIn, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. So uh, let's just jump right in. I'll read the plot really quick. I think um, I feel like we're not going to talk about this for super long, but we've said that before and other podcasts so let's just uh, dive in the synopsis reads when a pill that gives uh, its users unpredictable superpowers for five minutes hits the streets of Nolens 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 New Orleans for us uh, northerners (laughs) a a teenage uh, dealer and a local cop must uh, team up with a uh, ex soldier to take down (laughs) <laughs> the group responsible for its creation. Uh, the platform is, uh, of course, you can watch it on Netflix. Um, it dropped two days ago on Friday. Um, I watched a screener of it earlier in the week, uh, posted my little mini review, and um, I'm, I'm, I hope Devin watched it. No, <laughs> otherwise, he wouldn't be here. But. Um. <laughs> Oh God! Well, that's the podcast. Yeah, I did. Summer. I did this week. I did this morning. <laughs> nice and fresh. Yeah, nice and fresh. I mean, it's it's still fresh in my mind. I watched it, you know, a few days prior to uh, Friday's release, but yeah, it was exciting. I got a screener for it. I was like, why? Why not? Why not? But um, I wanted to get your first like impressions of this movie because, um, as you saw, I'm not sure if you saw my letterbox score. Um, I was not one who thought this movie was fantastic, but I wanted to let yeah, you... Yeah, I need to I need to start trying to avoid seeing that. <laughs> okay, I, well, like, I think what I'm going to do is... Don't cloud my judgment. <laughs> <laughs> what I think I'm going to do is just not post it. Like, at all. I'm not going to post it on Twitter. I'm not going to post it on Instagram. I'll keep it to myself, and then I'll release it after our review. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I don't want that to, you know... But go, <laughs> go ahead. So 
I really wanted to like this movie. I I wanted to. I love Jamie Foxx. Who doesn't love Joseph Gordon-Levitt? He's usually good. It's been a while. Don't know what he's been up to, but I saw your reviews and I was like, oh no, it can't be that bad. <laughs> and while I don't think it's, I don't think it's that bad. It definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. That was my, okay, so that was my first, like, initial thought of the movie. Like, as soon as I was done watching it, I was like, wow, this movie, like, you know, it, it has it's great actors. You know, the, the, um, you know uh, Dominique Fishback and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And, well, J- Jamie Foxx did a good job, too, but I think. He, I mean, he's, he's always good. Yeah, he's always good. So it's like, we're, you know, we're not really expecting uh, you know, a Oscar worthy performance from a Netflix film. Uh, this is an original film, which is nice. It's not like an adaptation. Of quote anything. unquote original. Yeah. Quote unquote original. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically taken limitless. Yeah, pretty much that. I got a lot of limitless vibes, but I enjoyed limitless like a lot. <laughs> I never watched the show, but I did enjoy the movie. Um, very, uh, a lot, but it's, I mean, ugh. I just didn't care for this movie all that much. I mean, aside from, of course, you know, the acting between the the big, uh, the main three um, act or characters in this movie were good, but I just didn't really care too much for it. Like, I didn't care about the villain. I they, what what villain? Yeah, exactly like none. Exactly because it's like I I don't know what they were trying to like. I'm just, I'm like okay where's the villain why should I why should I care that Jamie Foxx's daughter has been taken by these like insert you know bad uh, generic bad like drug cartel like super villains or whatever enemies here and I was just like cool I guess I mean freaking what's his face can't seem to get out of these Netflix performances MGK. MGK. He's and everywhere. Everything. I'm like, why are you? Do you all like? Is he only in Netflix movies? Cause I feel like it is. Like Bird Box. He was, he was in Staten Island. He, he was Staten in Staten Island. Island. He was also in. Was he in? Uh, he, he was in. Um. Oh my gosh. He was uh, in that Big Time Adolescence. Yeah, he was yeah. also in the um the other Netflix movie about Ugh. the band. I forgot. My God. It wasn't the old Wait. guard. No. What extraction? I think it was no. called like the dirt or something about Motley Crue. Oh yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, it was like their um, biopic esque thing. I mean, but um, I'm glad. I'm glad you brought up MG, MGK because I'd say like the first third of the movie, I was really feeling it. Like that MGK scene was really cool, where he was just like on fire the whole time. Flame on. I thought. I thought it looked really good. And then as it kept going, it just kind of kept spiraling. Yeah, pretty much. It's I, just, <laughs> it just comes down to the story and the script. It's just so average. Dominique Fishback. they Fishbacks. didn't do anything about it. Yeah. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm, I'm working on that, as you, as you can tell. I'm, I'm really working on trying not to cut people off. I just... Uh, but, um, yeah, I do agree with you there. As the movie went on, I just cared less and less about it. I also felt like it was, I felt like it was too long. I, I definitely felt like this movie was way, way too long. Um, I mean, it was like, the concept is like really cool. You know, Oh, you take a pill, you get the you concept know. is so cool. That's the, that's what makes it so annoying. Yeah. Cause so you're like, that's such a cool idea. Can we just not mess it up? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I will say one of the, my favorite mov- moments from the film was when, uh, Dominique Fishback's character um, when she's in class and her teacher calls her out and you know it's well we find out it that was just a dream yeah it was just a dream which I was kind of annoyed by because that would have been really awesome because you know she kind of she wants to become a rapper and then her uh, teacher's like okay well like you know spit me a few verses like spit me a rhyme and then you know I'll give you what do you say a C for the for the year? I was like, oh, how could you not pass that up? But she was too afraid to, of course, as we yeah. found out. I'm like, that would have been awesome because she, she was pretty good though. She was spitting. Yeah, she was. She was. 
I like the uh, the mom as well. She was, I mean, she was there, but the scene between her and um, Joseph Gordon Levitt was pretty funny when he pretends yeah. to live there. <laughs> I, I think he was honestly like the heart of this film, but I, I missed him. I did, I did. I'm, I'm glad he's getting back out there. I'm not gonna lie. He was also in that Prime Airplane movie. I didn't even know he was in that movie. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched Prime. I, I need to get back on the horse. Just waiting for the boys yeah. season two, seeing if I can get a screener. Amazon. <laughs> been reaching out to you guys. But um, what was I going to say? Between the mom, like the mom was fine. Um, the whole, oh, you know, can you go to the store, store get me soup? Because she has diabetes, I believe. That was all right. Also, oh, th- that's what I wanted to say. So at first, when Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, um, I thought he was like a guy pretending to be a cop because he was wearing a New Jersey, like a, a new uh, Saints jersey the entire time. And I was like, <laughs> like. He really had it on the entire movie. He literally had it on the entire movie. I was like. Is this just to make, you know, the viewer like, oh, don't, don't forget we're in New Orleans or New Orleans, as the uh, as the locals will say. <laughs> but it was just it was weird because like he was on his day off. I'm like, did he come from a Saints game? He's like, oh, crap, I got to go into work. I got called in. <laughs> I'm like, what? Are you just wearing the jersey just to wear it? Like, it was weird. <laughs> But uh, did you have a lot, any- lot of a lot of weird stuff? Yeah, but what uh, what was there any like nice takeaways? Uh, what do you thought worked for the film besides obviously the the concepts? Like any of the fight uh, scenes or I will say the thing that stood out the most to me was that the the visuals and the and the effects looked really good. Yeah, like, there weren't a lot of them, but when there were, like I thought the visuals were really cool. There just wasn't enough of it. Yeah, I agree, especially, you know, MGK overdosing on his uh, his pills, you know, going uh, human torch on us. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. And then, I mean, I guess we kind of know what Jamie Foxx is. Oh, no, I have no idea. I don't know is what he, it was. He's like Aquaman. He was talking about a shrimp or something. I have no idea. I was like, are you a Super Saiyan, uh, Jamie Foxx? Like, he what's was basically going on? Aquaman. He was controlling water. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. And, like, I guess if he uses it, it, like, puts him more of a greater risk of dying. But I guess his daughter's power was... Healing. Healing. Yeah. Didn't care for the daughter at all. Like, no, I didn't care for her, like, yeah, one we, bit. Yeah, we just don't know who she is, and we're expected to care about her. Yeah, it was just like... But, like, the movie was over before I knew it. Like, some, of, it, it felt like this movie was cut so quickly. But at the same time, I felt like it was really long. Like, it felt fat, fast-paced at times, but it felt long at the same time. It's, it was very weird. But... Also, the the tone, the toning was so weird throughout the movie. Like when um, when Jimmy Fox's character first meets Dominique Fishback's character, and he's like, her, like aggressively like harassing her. I'm like, oh god, this is like <laughs> serious. Like this isn't some cute little moment. Like this yeah. is weird. <laughs> yeah, he, he's I, like <laughs> assaulting her basically. Yeah, it, it, yeah, he was uh, roughhousing her there for a bit, and it's kind of like, you know, we never really got to see, like, a quote-unquote bad side of him. He's just like, I'm just looking for my daughter. I'm just looking for my daughter. And then you find the daughter, and I was like, oh, that's your daughter? Cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. It was, yeah. it, it, was, it was a mess to me. I gave it one and a half stars on... Uh, ladder box and I just I just didn't really enjoy it like I wasn't bored it was just I didn't the movie didn't really give me a reason to care enough but like I see a lot of people on Twitter Twitter saying that they want a sequel I was like I don't know if I want a sequel <laughs> you have to like really wow me with like a good trailer the, the thing is the movie's called Project Power and we saw what five powers if that that one girl who was like, like there just w- there just wasn't enough. Yeah, there was like that one girl who like essentially became Mister Freeze. 
but then died. And then died of... That scene, that scene pissed me off because they showed, like, that fight scene from the inside of her cage. Yeah, you can see From her, like, her perspective, and you're supposed to, like, tell what's going on. No, they looked awful. Yeah, it was pretty bad. You're just watching her die slowly. <laughs> She needs the freeze. She needs her body temperature to be below or whatever it was. But <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was a little annoying. It was, I just, <laughs> I yeah, like there's, there's MGK's power in the beginning. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Got firepower. Joe Gordon Levitt's bulletproof. That that's, was that's actually cool pretty enough. sweet. And then the fact that he was like fighting for, you know, justice within the system. Yeah, and then there's that guy we thought was the bad guy who turns into the Hulk, the thing, and then dies immediately. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Yeah. And then the chameleon guy with the uh, briefcase or whatever it was. Yeah. And I and, think... And Jamie Foxx, whatever his weird power was. I swear he was like a Super Saiyan or something. I don't know what that was, dude. That was so it had something weird. to do with water, and he talked about a shrimp. So is he like a waterbender? That's I what, guess. I guess so. <laughs> but ugh. anyway, um, was there anything else you wanted to uh, touch on? Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, I guess between some of the more recent films that we've seen, how would you compare this? We watched American Pickle last week. That was our past review. And then ugh, what did we... Uh, review after that or prior to that I think it was man I'm drawing a blank <laughs> we do so much it's insane um, besides American Pickle oh that's right we did Umbrella Academy so I guess it doesn't really count so between this and American Pickle which one would you <laughs> I mean that's just so random <laughs> It's just, like I said before, it's just Taken and Limitless. And just put those together. You got the guy searching for his daughter. Yeah. And then people take pills and they get. But um, Limitless. Yeah, but Limitless and Taken were actually good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Taken. Well, Taken 1. great. Taken 1 was good. I can't remember what happens in Taken 2. I didn't like Taken 3, though. That was not my forte. So, um. Yeah. S- scores? <laughs> um, or was there anything else you wanted to touch on before we head into scores? I'm like drawing a blank because I just, I, I just didn't I care. Did, I just th- think, I think everything was there except for the script and the story. Like if they could just, if they could have just done a couple more like drafts of it and made it a little better. The acting was good. The CGI was good. Action was okay. <laughs> But I mean, the story was just the biggest yeah. culprit. I would have to agree there. <laughs> Absolutely. Kind of, kind of reminds me of Gemini Man. Oh, I'm so glad it, I dodged the bullet there. Oh, I'm so happy. Gem- Gemini Man was worse though. Still. Was it? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you didn't enjoy the, the digital uh, Will Smith and Will Smith playing off of himself, literally as Will Smith. <laughs> I prefer it when Seth Rogen does that. Yeah, no uh, CGI required. Well, there's some CGI required, not with his actual look, but with, you know, making sure they're both in the same shot or kind of like a camera trick type thing. But uh, did you want to get into scores? Yeah, so so you gave it a 1.5, which is what, a 30? I was going to go 20, <laughs> but I'll go 30. Well, I, think, I think the math would be 30. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, would, I would give it a 30 out of 100. I just, it, it, I, I will never watch this movie ever, ever again. It's like, it's, it's up there with Bright. Like, I'm sorry. I, I will never touch this movie. I, d- I definitely don't think it's that bad. I'll, I'll give it a well, yeah, 50. Right. What, you got a what? A 50. A 50? Like, okay. Yeah. I just it had potential, but a lot of, a lot of issues. Yeah. That's and like, I see so many reviews on. They're like, oh my god, it's such a fun movie. And like you know, don't get us wrong. Like definitely check out this movie if you haven't seen it. We're not saying don't watch it because it is like a fun, you know, summer blockbuster. Turn your brain off 
type film, like Extraction, if like you, if the you've Old got Guard. nothing else to watch. Yeah, if you have literally nothing else on your in your backlog of movies or TV shows that you've been meaning to watch, and instead of watching the same, you know, rewatching The Office for the 18th time, definitely give it a check. Uh, ch- check it out. Form your own opinion. You know, we're just here giving our thoughts about the film. So there's that. So <laughs> 30 from me out of 100 and uh, 50 out of 100 from uh, old Devin here. So, yeah, that's a lot. A lot of fun. So um, I believe that pretty much comes up on time here for our – well, that concludes our <laughs> review of Project Power that is streaming on Netflix. Of course, you can find our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Red Circle, Tune in um, Pandora and, of course, iHeartRadio. Um, I believe what is coming out next week? I don't even know. Oh. Mm. Oh, we. Mm. Well, no I know idea. the binge. We got to watch that because that comes out on the 28th. But that might be like a bonus episode. I don't know. But we'll figure out something because we can't break embargo date on that. So, <laughs> um, definitely got we definitely got to watch that sometime this week. I know we've been both watching Doom Patrol, so maybe once season two, like if we hurry up because season two is ongoing now, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like halfway through. Yeah, I think I think I'm on like episode six <laughs> of season one. But it's like it's like thirteen episodes, and they're all 15. in fifteen. They're all an hour long. Some are like 40-ish. Yeah, that is true. But there's that. And of course, it is, you know, it is really good, though. It, it is very good. It is very good. I, I plan on plowing through season one this week and then, you know, catching up with season two. But we also have Lovecraft Country coming out tonight, Devin. So just the first episode, just the first episode. But still, it's the first episode. Um so that would be something we can definitely review. Um, we'll let you guys know uh, what's coming up. I'm drawing a blank of what's coming up for uh, this weekend that we can review. If we find something, we will. If not, we just won't review anything. So unless there's like some gaming news, we get like the price of the PS5 or the Xbox, maybe. But that's about it. So uh, that was Devin. My name is Christian. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.